Hello and welcome to episode 72. What is that? Say Santa? No, that's 60. I don't know. Just pretend I said it in Spanish to sound smart. Holy shit. Say siete? Siete tenta? That doesn't sound right. Whatever. Episode 72 of the Heart of Markness Led Zeppelin podcast. Hola, I am Mark. Tonight we are doing a show that was suggested gently by someone in the Heart of Markness Facebook group, who I can't remember. It might have been Other David. If it was Other David, then thank you, Other David. And he suggested this show, which is November 16th, 1971, Ipswich, United Kingdom. And this is Nito. It's it's very shortly after their... Um, Japanese tour in September, just a couple months. However, those couple months are momentous because in that interim, in fact, just a couple of days, literally, before this UK tour started, Led Zeppelin 4 was released. Actually, it's not Led Zeppelin 4. It actually doesn't have a title. They call it Four Symbols. Thank you. Thank you. You are better than everybody else. But that was released on November 8th, 1971, ZEP4. And uh, shortly thereafter, Led Zeppelin did the winter 1971 UK tour, which ran from November 11th, so three days after the release of ZEP4, through November 15th, 1971, and uh, played... A couple of bit larger shows, the Electric Magic show at the Wembley Empire Pool, uh, which is the one that has the cool psychedelic poster that everybody's seen, hopefully, um, had vaudeville acts, circus acts, plate spinners, trapeze artists, performing pigs, which were dressed in police uniforms. That's pretty funny. And um, unfortunately, I don't think there is a recording, or at least not a decent recording of that show, but it was supposed to be pretty badass. This is um, being a UK tour. It's similar to their later UK tours, the return to the clubs kind of thing, in that they're playing smaller, smaller venues throughout the UK, um, because whereas in 1975, they just played Earl's Court and then set up... uh, basically commuter rails to take people from throughout the island to London to Earl's Court so they could play towards to 18,000 a night. This is similar to their um, Back to the Clubs tour in 73 where they literally went back to the clubs. They're playing local ballrooms, city halls. Um, This in Ipswich is St. Matthew's Baths. I don't know exactly... um, what the capacity is, but it's a, it's a small, these are small venues, you know, they're ballrooms. So, you know, a few hundred people, a thousand, 2000 at most, I would imagine. And, um, it's neat. It's neat to hear Zeppelin first of all, on their home turf, because it's harder to be, you know, what, what did it, uh, shit. There's something in the Bible about how like Jesus couldn't perform miracles in Nazareth or something. It's hard to go home again because you go home again and you're not super Zoso master Jimmy Page. You're Jimmy. Jimmy the fuck who everybody knows. You know, your family's there and you you know what it's like. You know what it's like when you go home. Your wife's not impressed with you anymore, which is unfortunate. But you can go out in the world and be the star. Anyway, that was a unnecessary derail and I apologize but this is a hot hot tour and we have a really good recording of this show it's actually a um I believe it's a merge it's it's brand spanking new it, it's less than it's from late last month and uh, which is great it was suggested to me and then you know I, I found a source that had just been put together on the 22nd from uh, good old Bert. And it's a source mix that uses source one, source two, and source three to patch in some missing pieces. Um, this is a neat one that is 
noteworthy in that it's one of the very rare I think there may only maybe two two shows that play where they play Gallows Pole live. We did the Copenhagen show, which was in um, May of 71, a long time ago back in the podcast. And you can hear that. This is them playing Gallows Pole. The only time after that that they ever did it as the super, super, super duper, very last final encore. And it is nice. We're going to. We're going to hear that. This is, again, the source mix by Ed141. Blessings be upon him. Let us get started. I'm going to try and not waste time because I want to play quite a few songs. And hell, we haven't even wasted six minutes yet. I think I'm going to eat a sandwich while you listen to me. No, just kidding. Led Zeppelin 4 just came out, so I am going to focus on Zeppelin 4 songs. I'm not going to play Stairway because I don't want to. I am going to play Black Dog, which is, again, not one that I play that often because, by and large, it's the same every show. It's one of the few that doesn't have much uh, wiggle room for for extending and jamming. But this one has some tasty, tasty, tasty playing. This whole show has really great playing from Mr. Page. Superlative. I mean, the band is great. 1971 Zeppelin is always great. And this is, it's just amazing. And thank you, Other David, for the suggestion. Not only is he a patron, he's a great, great, great guy. Are you saying that just because he's a patron? No, I just said I wasn't. He is. He's a really cool guy. And I love the fact that, um, we have a Facebook group that's active like that where people can make suggestions and get clarifications because I wouldn't have thought of this. I would not have paid much attention to this little tour because I, I I guess I just assumed that there were not really good sources out there. And then lo and behold, synchronicity hits and other David suggests a show that just had a brand new source merge released. And it's not like it was released all over the place yet. It just kind of happened. So it was uh, a little thank you from the universe. Now let's get hopping, shall we? All right, let's jump into, oh, what's the name of their playing? St. Matthew's Baths. Interesting. I think I'm going to look, while we're listening to this, I think I'm going to look that up and see if I can get some insight into how big that is. Because when I see baths in Europe, I think of old Roman baths that are repurposed. And it may not be. Maybe something complete, something completely different. But in any case, you are going to listen to Black Dog. Hey, hey, mama, said the way you move. And it's interesting to hear these songs as they're new, as the audience may be hearing them for the first time. Or it's not become Black Dog like, hey, hey, mama, said the way you move, like everybody knows it because they've only heard it for two days or maybe a couple weeks on the radio. I don't know. UK radio is weird. They have a very, very short... Back then, they had a very, very short time every week that played cool music because it's, you know, government radio. All right. November 16th, 1971. Ipswich, England. St. Matthew's Bath. Plural. Baths. More than one bath. Black Dog. I will see you guys in about 6 minutes 40.
Jimmy was on fire. They all were. And it's a good recording, huh? Really? I mean, obviously it's low gen. You can always tell, I mean, aside from the clarity. But the clarity, at least for me, manifests in how high res the uh, audience sounds, the people around the tape, or if it's an audience tape. Whether or not, you know, when you hear the clapping, if you can actually hear, like, the meat, the the skin on skin, and not just, oh, that's clapping, but the actual, you know, <laughs> flesh of it. And you can, and it's great, and it's a small venue. I looked it up. It closed in 1984. It was, it was a literal bath and swimming pool. They were playing in a, well, the audience was in what was a swimming pool. It, it was covered over for the off season because it's, you know, November in England. But um, tickets were a pound, a quid to go see Led Zeppelin. Close enough where Robert was talking to the audience. Somebody on LedZeppelin.com said that he had purchased one of those, <coughs> apologies, one of those posters that were 20p and are now worth like a grand if or more. <coughs> always, always, I swear it's 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 something psychosomatic that makes me cough. I'm sorry. It is a it's a big downer. Um or I'm dying, which is also a downer, but um unlikely. I'm also sitting directly in the blast of my air conditioning. There's this river of cold air running through my ninety degree room because it is hot as heck outside. And you all know how my room gets, so we won't go into that. That's what that sound is in the background. I'm not, like, <laughs> operating a Zamboni <laughs> while I'm doing this. Anywho, yes, St. Matthew's Baths. Pictures of the, of the gig are just adorable. Adorable. It looks like they're playing a school auditorium. People are just seated on the floor. The tops of their heads are equal to the stage. And Robert is right there. Like, it, it reminds me of when I saw Aerosmith in 1984, um, the, the show that wrecked my hearing. Um, they were they were doing a rehearsal, an open rehearsal, identical, identical to Zeppelin playing Copenhagen in 79 as the warm up for to Nebworth. It was a small theater in Concord, New Hampshire. Joe Perry was back. It was their official Joe Perry's back in the band. And the other dude that wasn't in the band, too. Joey Kramer, I guess. No, that's the drummer. Brad Whitford. No, he was in. Tom. Whoever the guy is that plays bass. Shit. Anyway. Getting old, folks. Anyway, it's it's a small venue that's, you know, definitely less than a thousand people. And this tour is the first tour where the four symbols come into play on stage, where Jimmy has the Zoso amp, Robert's feather uh, flanks either side of the stage on the PAs, Jonesy has his rune uh, on a sheet hanging from his electric piano, and Bonzo, of course, has the triple interlocked rings on his bass drum. But it's cute. I'm looking at pictures of the show, and there's mics stage mics miking the instruments bonzo has an overhead mic and it's funny because it's a small enough venue where you you don't need one you could just play but um man it's adorable looking at the photos on ledzeppelin.com it is just adorable because they're young they're famous they're world famous at this point but they're not the super mega unapproachable rock gods they were just a couple year, a few years later. It was still, you know, able to talk to them in the audience. Somebody, Robert asked somebody in the audience, like, did you pay 20p for that to the, for the posters? Yes. And, um, you know, Robert's like, which end is the deep end? Are we, are we, at, are we at the 12 foot end or is it over there? It's just, it's touching. It's touching. It would have been great to see that show and that tour. Jesus, it's incredible. All right, enough wool gathering. The band are on fire, obviously. Black Dog, oh, Black Dog didn't have the typical end. They didn't have the bow, da, 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 bow, 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 at the end. They just kind of, 
They hadn't developed that yet. It's still neat to hear this stuff, not in an embryonic state, but, um, you know, like the butterfly drying its wings before it takes flight. It's just, it's neato to hear. And speaking of neato to hear new songs, we're going to hear rock and roll, which is instead of the show opener, like it, it was Jesus from 73 and 75. It was the sixth song played. Oh, and let's get the set list out of the way for you folks who, who are interested. This show, which you will be able to download in its entirety from Mark heartofmarkness.com you got your intro immigrant song very similar to Japan Heartbreaker Black Dog Since I've Been Loving You Rock and Roll Stairway then they do the acoustic set Going to California That's the Way Tangerine and then Dazed and Confused which must have been really rad to witness from, you know, seven feet away. What is and what should never be? Celebration Day on the double neck, I think. Whole lot of love. Weekend. The uh, Eddie Cochran song. <laughs> on the weekend. Finishing up with Gallows Pole. I can only guess that after a whole lot of love, the show closer, they came back and did Weekend as an encore and then came back and did Gallows Pole as a second encore. So there you go. 16 songs. And what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Alrighty. Enough wool gathering. Let us listen to rock and roll again. Ipswich. November 16th, 1971 at St. Matthew's Baths. See you shortly. Actually, I won't see you, nor will you see me. Unsettling. All right. In any case, be back soon.
That was funny. It's so interesting to hear the juxtaposition of Robert's voice being amazing, Jimmy's playing being ridiculously fluid and fast, and them not being 100%. The, the songs are not 100% fleshed out for live performances yet, so there's little fuck-ups. Jimmy jumped into the song early, and then to end it, just like with Black Dog, they don't have the endings completely tight yet, so they just kind of... Bam. And it's funny, because just a few months later, when they hop over the pond, they are titans on the earth. Oh, wait. Before they hop over the pond, they go way over the pond and to the bottom of the world, to Australia, where they are also titans. It's interesting. And I guess that's also why they're doing this little UK tour, so they can iron, not even iron out the kinks, just get familiar with these brand new songs as live vehicles so that they can be as tight as they are with Whole Lot of Love and, you know, Since I've Been Loving You and all that other stuff. Interesting. I just had an insight. But I'm sure is screamingly obvious to you all. But that's okay, because you know why? Because I'm going to play you something wonderful. Some kind of wonderful. ba 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 Talking about my baby. We're going to play now. We're going to go into an old chestnut that I always, not always, but I usually play this song when I cover a show. And it is Whole Lot of Love. And it is 20 plus minutes long. And it is awesome. Let me take a look. I am not sure. I was going to take notes last night when I listened to this, but it's like, nah, I'll remember, which I, I do not. So, ba, 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 ba. I can't see where the patches are, but since it's a 20 minute song recorded on 1971 technology, if there are patches, it's likely to appear in this song. So brace yourself for any upcoming sound quality changes. It sounds good all the way through to listen to, but I can't off the off the tip of my head recall if there are source switches in this in any case it is great it is your typical whole lot of love where they go into the um very similar to the bbc one which was done in april of 71 um as far as the the, the medleys you know you've got your booger chillin you've got um hello mary lou goodbye heart you've got mess of the blues i just got your letter baby it's great you're going to love it. And I skipped the acoustic set, even though I was tempted, because when I do, I don't often do acoustics. And when I do it, they tend to be exceptional. These are wonderful. The acoustic set is completely delightful. It's just the sound quality for me is not quite clear and bright and upfront enough for me to play this particular show. But rest assured, one of these days, I will do a start to finish acoustic set when there's a show with uh, that warrants it. Plus, I can't play every song or else it would be a two hour show with my five to ten to 20 minutes of bullshit between. It would be like a Dan Carlin version of the Heart of Markness. And I am no Dan Carlin yet. Oh, but wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? All right. I am. <laughs> I am musical today. Um, I think I'm going to get a guitar again. I have to aspire to that because I have to collect my pennies because of all my poor life choices. Um, but I've been four years without a guitar and 34 years with one. And I'm really missing it now. Before it wasn't much of a big, it wasn't much of a deal. Um, but now it feels like something that is missing almost daily, which is good. I think it's uh, I think it's good. I think it's a positive thing. So add that to the list of things I need to save up for. Need a new computer. Need a new car. And I need a guitar. Awesome. Well... One day at a time, sweet Jesus. All right. Whole lot of love, ladies and gentlemen. 
from the fiery young band of 20-somethings called The Led Zeppelin. Enjoy it. This is a fun one, guys. You know I love this. You know I love the 1970, 1971 whole lot of loves. They are just awesome. Enjoy. I'll see you in a month and a half.
That's a happy audience that wants more. Sorry for the abrupt edit, but there's like five more minutes of that. And looking at the 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 waveforms of the track, the audience is just as loud as the band on the recording. And I mean, it's relative because the mics are in the audience, obviously. But that was just exceptional. Um, Little Honeybee, I think, is one of the blues songs. Sounds like my little honeybee. And they did that. Um, they did that in in my time of dying at the 2007 reunion show, but they excised that little bit from the official release, probably because they would have had to pay like you know a hundred thousand dollars or something ridiculous to license that little, um, you know, ten second interlude. But man, what a great band. <laughs> I say this every week because by the time I get to this point in the podcast, more often than not, especially if I'm dealing with a Zeppelin show and not a, you know, a Jimmy show or a Page Plant show or something, an offshoot, but, you know, direct from the tap Zeppelin. By the time I get to this point in the show, an hour in, I'm like, Jesus Christ, they're incredible. All right. Well, because we're an hour in, I'm just going to plow through the next two songs. Uh, Their first encore is the Eddie Cochran song, Weekend. 
It is very good. They did one in 1972, I think, Bal not Baltimore, can't be Baltimore. I don't know. I did a podcast with The Weeknd a long time ago with the song The Weeknd that I prefer over this version, but it's just personal preference. In any case, here's the encore, the first encore from the show. Again, St. Matthew's Pool, Ipswich, UK, November 16th, 1971. The... Weekend, Eddie Cochran. All right, I will be back in just a couple of minutes to play the next one. Adios. This is what I'm uh, everybody, everybody, uh, back the door. Um, hey! uh, this is an uh, old Eddie Cochran thing. Ravenous for more. Zeppelin, they, the boys seem a little more on the loose end of tight but loose on this show. Absolutely no problems with it. It's great and I really enjoy it. It just seems like Weekend. They didn't start as tight as they usually do. Like Robert started it and everyone's like, uh, all right, let's do it again. I mean, real subtle stuff, not a big deal, but it's just... um just noticing it it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slightly different dynamic oh and before i forget back in whole lot of love there was a source transition but it was done so well and and the tonal balance between the sources was managed masterfully when it went when it uh towards the 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 latter you know uh third of whole lot of love when it switched to a higher quality source 
it was it didn't sound like suddenly you know sometimes you could tell that it you you switch to a recording that's like you know 200 feet further back or far on the left far on, it just it sounds it's from a different part of the stadium this probably in part because it's such a small venue but also the the masterful equalization of uh ed 141 and, and the transitions it was almost just like somebody had a uh, like i'm gonna try and do it here i don't know if it's worked i'm gonna put my hand over the mic and then remove my hand from the mic and i don't know how it's gonna sound but the uh the purpose of that was just to illustrate it just sounds like the same vantage point with with a little more clarity so really well done. All righty. Well, let's get through the bullshit first. I'm going to play Gallo's Pole, but I, I got to get through my uh, spiel here. I'm going to blow through it. We'll be done in a second, guys. Don't worry. You can follow me on Twitter at Heart of Markness. I have a Facebook group full of awesome Facebook folk. Heart of Markness Facebook group, oddly enough. Join it. Join us. Join us. And you will find great people. People can help you source shows. People can, who can answer questions for you. People you can be friends with. And, uh, you know, you can talk to them all, myself included. Well, on Twitter as well, because I'm the guy doing it. All right. I'm also heartofmarkness.com. That is where you can find the podcast, even though you're already listening to it, as well as where applicable the shows, the complete concerts from which I glean my tracks. So you'll be able to go to heartofmarkness.com and download the entire show. All the songs I listed earlier, not just the ones we heard on this on this episode. That's neato. And that is thanks to dot, 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 my patrons on Patreon who help support this by paying for the hosting for the cloud server on which all these shows are hosted, as well as the SoundCloud fee to host my podcast on SoundCloud and disseminate it throughout the universe um, and pay for the website that you can find the link to the cloud server that is listed from the SoundCloud and I don't know. Uh, five golden rings um, and if you would like to support myself and this podcast if you like what I do um, and it makes you happy and you're of a mind to and this is a free podcast it's always going to be free so if you're of a mind to and if you're able to you are welcome to heartily become a patron at patreon.com slash heart of markness where you will get an extra podcast a month just for you. I did, August's, for example, was um, Jimmy Page and Roy Harper, two different um, eras, one 1974 and one 1984. And it was some good stuff. And uh, yeah, and here are the patrons now, the titans upon whose shoulders rests this mighty podcast. Oh, and also read your name out. You'll be on the name of honor. Thousands of people will hear you. People will stop you in the streets and kiss you. Women will throw themselves at you. Men will throw themselves at you. Dogs will throw themselves at you. People will throw dogs at you. It'll be chaos. Do it. Um, so a laurel and hearty handshake to Michael, Rob, Wayne, Brad, Danielle, Tracy, David, Peter, Mark, Other David, Bill, Mimo, and Avi. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friends, for believing in me, for supporting in me, giving me the impetus to do the podcast, even though when I get home from work, I'm like, I don't want to do the goddamn podcast. Then I'm like, no, I have to. It's, it's a job. And every time I do it, I'm always happy I did. It's funny. I'm always like, oh, I don't want to do this. Then I get started. and It's like, yes. So thank you. All right. Thank you very much. We're going to play Gallows Pole, the very last song from the very last. Well, no, it's not the very last. The very last song from this show in Ipswich. Again, November 16th, 1971. Gallows Pole, one of the very, very, very few times this was played live by Zeppelin. Enjoy it. No, we had a place in the Zeppelin. Hey! Oh! 
it's magical that I would guess one of the reasons, one of the main reasons that Zeppelin did Gallows Pole, a show obviously that wasn't one that was played live, one that obviously they had the framework around, but hadn't worked it out deeply. They're kind of winging it in a way, arrangement wise, not not playing wise. And it worked. Um, but I think they attempted it rather than doing something more tried and true that they knew, like how many more times or something like that. Communication breakdown. Because it was a small gig. So even if they just went out and fell right on their faces and biffed it, there's just there'd be like 800 people who'd be pissed and notice or not even pissed that would notice it. But it also makes it more intimate, more um, candid, unguarded, innocent. So good. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. Again, you can go to heartofmarkness.com and download this entire show and the excellent new release, um, Touch Up by Ed 141, and the magic that he hath wrought, and you can own this whole show for free, for nothing. Thank you for listening. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, yeah, you guys mean the world to me. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. I'll be back this weekend. It's a holiday weekend here in the good old U.S. of A. Um, so it probably won't be Saturday because I'm not going to be around Saturday. But it will be probably Sunday. Oh, then I won't be able to grab the Mike Millard. Fuck me. Um, all right, whatever. I'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. There will be something this weekend non-Led Zeppelin. On the weekends, I do bonus episodes, which are typically... Uh, whatever the latest Mike Millard uh, release is from the Gems Group. Last week it was The Kinks, 1978 show. Excellent, if you haven't listened to it already. I heartily encourage you to. But now, it's been an hour and almost 16 minutes. And uh, blessings to you all. Much love. And I'll talk to you shortly. Thank you very much for letting me be part of your world. <laughs>